Hello everybody, my name is Wad Burns and this is a short video from my paper Breaking Rainbow Takes a Weekend on a Laptop. Okay, so Rainbow is a digital signature scheme that was invented in 2005 by Ding and Schmidt and it's a variant of the older oil and vinegar uh, signature scheme and we're mostly interested in this scheme because it was one of the three uh, digital signature finalists of the NIST post-quantum crypto project. Uh, the other two candidates being uh, Dilithium and Falcon, of course. One of the advantages of Rainbow is that it has small signatures, for example, 66 bytes for the security level one, and that it has good performance in terms of signing time and verification time. But the uh, drawbacks are that the public keys are quite large, for example, uh, 59 kilobytes, and as it turns out, that the scheme is not secure. So why is it not secure? That's what this video is uh, all about. This work is not the first script analysis of Rainbow. We know about a lot of attacks, like when Rainbow was first proposed, we knew about oil and vinegar attacks and high rank attacks. And then soon after, people discovered uh, two new attacks, the min rank attack and the Rainbow band separation attack. And uh, then after uh, 2008, the, the crypt analysis situation seemed to have uh, stabilized and there were no new attacks found. This was until Rainbow entered into the NIST competition and people started to, to look at Rainbow again. And then uh, people found improvements for the, for the min-rank attacks, and namely they found uh, better algorithms of solving, for solving the min-rank problem, and this translates to more efficient attacks on Rainbow, but these uh, attacks still uh, didn't threaten the, the parameters that were submitted to NIST. And also, uh, there was a better analysis of the rainbow band separation attack, which uh, reduced, uh, it didn't improve the complexity of the attack, but it improved our understanding of the attack. But uh, essentially, uh, so far, no new attacks uh, were found. And this changed uh, in 2021, when um, I gave a simplified formulation of rainbow, uh, which is completely equivalent to, to the original rainbow scheme, but uh, which doesn't make use of bases or co coordinates. It only talks about subspaces, uh, which is uh, yeah, much more elegant and it makes it easier to, to see what is really going on in the scheme, which makes it easier to find uh, new attacks, of course. Right, in this paper, I found uh, two new attacks that reduced the security level of Rainbow by 20 bits of security, but um, the Rainbow team argued that uh, Rainbow had enough security margin, so it still met the uh, security level one uh, security level. And then uh, in this work, based on the simplified formulation of Rainbow, I found another attack, which is much more uh, efficient, and it's even if, uh, doable in practice for the round two security level one parameters. And uh, for higher security levels, it also reduces the, the security level uh, significantly. I'm only going to give a very high level overview of, uh, of the attack. So basically the attack starts by guessing some vector x, and then you hope that some uh, event happens, namely that the kernel of the differential at x contains some, uh, some vector in O2, which is a space that you're interested in. And then uh, you solve some system for a vector in O2. If you have a solution, then, then you're happy, and then you can do a full key recovery uh, very efficiently. And otherwise, you just try again with a different guess for x. And it turns out that the probability that you make a good guess is quite large. It's 1 in 15. And trying to solve the system takes uh, roughly two and a half hours. Right? So you have to repeat this 15 times on average, uh, which gives you uh, an efficient attack. It only takes 53 hours or one weekend uh, on average. So if you want more details, then you should attend the full talk. But for now, let's move on to the conclusion. So uh, Rainbow is broken in practice, at least the round two security level one parameters. It would be possible to move to higher parameters to save the scheme, but this would be quite expensive and this would make Rainbow more expensive than the oil and vinegar scheme on which Rainbow is based. Uh, this wouldn't really make sense because originally the motivation of Rainbow was to have some more efficient version of oil and vinegar but now because of these attacks, it's no longer the case that Rainbow is more efficient. So we should just move back to the original oil and vinegar scheme, 
which is uh, much older and much simpler and easier to understand and cryptanalyze. So that's it. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you at the full presentation.